Okay, made some progress. Again, I couldn't film anything. It was so tight down there. But what I did was I took one of the pulleys of the steering off to give a little slack in the ch uh, steering chain. <clears throat> so I did that. And I was able to get the slack off of the pulley here. So maybe that'll give me some clearance on one side. Uh, now that the chain's kind of out of the way, so... Let me put you back on the bracket and see me struggle doing this. And then if I can move this past the chain, I will put a leader on each line, each cable, so Okay, now the end of the check cable is in the way. It's actually worse than it was. So let me put this back. I'm going to pause you for a moment. Okay, so by moving the chain off of the sprocket and wiggling around the two cables and the mounting block and jiggling them all together, I was successful in removing the cable and the mounting bracket. So that's plastic and it looks like it's in excellent shape. So I just need to go down below, remove the cable ends, and see if I can fish them up. So time to pause again. Okay, I got the cable ends up here, and I took the ends off. So I'm going to now tie this string to each one, and then pull it out of the pedestal and leave the string so it'll make it a little easier going back. Famous last words, but um, there's nothing else on the cables I can take off. So I'm hoping that they can fit through the hole. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pause you again. And hopefully the next time you see me, you will have the cables out on the deck. Okay, so we're back up top. I tied some strings to those cables. So now I'm going to try to pull it up. Let's get the wheel out of the way. Get back on. And let's see what we can do here. cables at the entrance of the hole. Um, you can hear it. Uh, I don't know why they're not coming up. So they're going through a hole down below. They had to get through there at one point. So they look like they're the same diameter on both ends. So I don't know what's holding me up. Both of them are holding me up, so time to go down below again. Okay, that was a lot of fun. So the tolerances in that hole were so tight, the thin string I had around the cable was actually too thick for it, and that was holding me up. So I got the cables through the hole, the cable ends, so now let's pull them out through Pencil. One cable out. Second cable out. The cables are out of the building. Dun, da, da. Okay. All in all, wasn't terrible. Then again, I haven't put them back yet. So I don't know how I'm going to get them back in the boat, but at this point, I'm happy to have them out. Go source some new cables. Um, they actually don't feel too bad. Um, so um, I don't know why they were so stiff, but I do want to get new cables anyways. So unless the um, 
levers on the engine were tight. That's the reason I'm doing this was because the shift levers and the throttle levers were a little tight. So at least I got those out and um, I'll get back to you when I get new cables. Okay, we're back at the pedestal again. Um, I didn't film this part, but I got the new cables. I went to Edson because they're not too far from me and I picked up two new cables. And of course, they are literally half a millimeter thicker than the old ones. And of course, there is a plate on the underside of the deck that is exactly the width of the old cables at the widest point, which is this ferrule here. So I literally had to go into the boat and drill a half inch hole just to enlarge it to a half inch to accept the new cables. So that was a lot of fun. So I'm covered in bronze shavings, so I have man glitter now. So I have the two cables. This is the shifter and this is the throttle. I have them separated because I know that the new this one with the rubber has is the um, shift cable because I did it second and I realized that the rubber could fit through. I took it off on the first one. So I'm able to keep keep them apart. So they're on the right side of <clears throat> the boat. This is on the right side, this is on the left side. So now I just need to attach this plastic nylon piece that's on the old cables. This is the old cable here. And I did buy a new one from Edson because they have pretty much every part available so I figured I'd get a new one. So I will put that on here and install it and at least we'll be that far ahead. I did take the top part and left it at Edson for them to look at because it was still a little stiff and it was kind of notchy so I'm going to have them put new bushings in the shifters and just tune it up because this is circa 1977 um, so this is an older unit. I believe it was the last rebuilt in 2001 so um, it's due for service. So let's get on with assembling the top part of the shift cables and I will probably go down into the bilge and once these are on the right correct side I will put the chain back on the sprocket and adjust it properly because I may be off a tooth or so. So I mean let me put you into a bracket and hopefully that's good enough. It's going to have to be, so there you are, so I have the new piece and there's actually a groove here on the piece for the cables, so I can take the two cables and stick them in there and now they're on the correct side of the boat. Now they gave you a cotter pin which will retain this. So I just need to slide the cotter pin in the hole and hopefully by the grace of God it'll slide through. And pass the cable, the first one it passes, no problem. So pass the second one, no problem. Woohoo! On a roll here. So and there's actually a bolt being retained by that cotter pin as well. So now I can take the nut off so I can fit it through the pedestal. Let me bend the cotter pin while I'm here. I do give you a new cotter pin, which is nice. So that's not gonna go anywhere. So, what I need to do is I need to sneak this, basically do the reverse of putting it in. I need to sneak this down and um, put it on the correct side of the boat. At, this goes down here. So I do actually need to transfer, before I get too ahead of myself, I do need to transfer the brackets from the old cables 
Okay, we're back. So I took the tape and the string off of the of the cables, and I put the lock nut back on, and I put the uh, rubber back on. So now I'm able to screw the original Edson parts back on. The little brackets here, and thank goodness they're the right thread length. But that's why I went to Edson because I knew that. Since it's all Edson products that they would fit and I wouldn't have any drama. And I'm glad I did because there's no drama. So this is going to attach to the bracket. Um, when I get it back, the middle piece with the shift levers. So now um, I need to put this back in the center of the, of the pedestal and the cables will be on either side that will attach to the levers when I get it back. So, let's go for it. And of course the chain dropped back onto the sprocket, so I need to get it back off. Okay, so now well, let's tighten up that nut. Size nut do we have? Half inch. It better not be metric. Maybe it is metric. Maybe I need to take the cap off. Let's take the cap off. There we go. So maybe it is American. Seven sixteenths. We have a winner. Seven sixteenths. They tell you in the manual to use Loctite. This is a lock nut on here, so I don't think I need Loctite. Because if this comes undone, we got all more problems to worry about. And it doesn't have to be crazy tightened. Okay, and I actually got the light wire behind that plastic nylon bracket. So that's being held in by that, which is nice. As long as it works, I'm, I'm happy. The light wires are free of everything. I'll go down and pull on it. Cables are out of the way. They're a little, they're a little loose, but then again, I haven't uh, tightened them yet. But the light wire is a little loose in there, so I will pull that down to straighten it out. But other than that, I'm happy with this. So let's put the wheel on. Final check, make sure it can go port to starboard effortlessly. Looking good, I'm happy. So let's put the stop it with the key up so it doesn't fall. And we are done up here until I get the midsection back. And then I can put that on, attach the um, pins to the levers, and attach the levers to the engine. Um, other than that, we're done here until I get the midsection back. And until I get that back, I can't attach it to the engine because I need to adjust the length of the the threaded rod um, 
make sure I have full throw, so I can't do any of that until I have the midsection back and attach it to the levers. So until I get that part back, I'm done with the video.